were doing, let's say, this last time, yes? And if we treat this with a peroxy acid, yes? What are the examples I told you about the peroxy acids that could give you this reaction? You don't know it reacts yet, but I'm telling you peroxy acid. Bayer yes. the Bayer Villager. Yes. Bayer Villager. What type of acids are the ones that can give you that? They give you? Peroxy acid. Which which example did I give you? What? Yeah, but this is not specific, yes. Uh, I told you. MCPBA, yes? Uh -huh. Oh thank you. MCPBA. Mentafluor. Peroxy It's happening tonight. <laughs> Remember, you get no extra credit if LeBron wins. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. So, Let's say he loses tonight by 20 points, I give everybody 20 <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so MCPBA is an example of a peroxy benzoic acid. Look like this, yes? Yes? Mm -hmm. So anything that has this here would theoretically do that, okay? If you have something that, you know, looks like this. Can that do it? Hello? Yes. Yes, okay. So, it is a peroxy acid. You just might have MCPBA, okay? If that is the case, what is the product? Where the oxygen gets introduced on one of the sides of this carbonyl, which side is it? Right side. Okay, on the right side. Why does it get on the right side? Because the right side is tertiary. Well, the stuff on the left hand side is primary, or we can call it methyl, yes? What if it's this? <coughs> what happens? It goes, the the it goes to the hydrogen, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. You want the mechanism for this? Yeah. You want it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know it well. Maybe you guys can help me. Okay. I've never done this mechanism. <coughs> So let's say that what we have is, let's put R's. Let's put R's so we're not specific on it. And what we have is, That's the acid. What happens first? Uh, what happened? Proton transfer. Proton transfer? Proton transfer? Yeah. Pronated the oxygen. Let's get pronated? Mm -hmm. Yes? No. No, I'm not going to feel like it's happening. Everything always gets pronated? No, not always. Don't the, the double bonds, bonds. Yeah, the double bond. The, the lone pairs from the O, from O, H, will attack the carbon. Where are you looking now? Because I'm reading the notes. That's not the, the point is not for you to show me that you can read. Because <laughs> I know, uh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> so, that will attack that. That's what's going to happen. And that is going to go that way. Mm -hmm. Yes? 
Now that happens for a specific reason. That would have been too stable with the pronations there, but it doesn't really make a difference. Oxygen on the top with what type of charge? Negative charge. Here's R, here's R, and now I have the oxygen that made the attack with the hydrogen, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes, this oxygen made the attack and made a new bond here. Yeah. With the hydrogen yeah. it had from before. And the oxygen. Positive. This yeah. is positive. That's negative. <coughs> yes? Mm -hmm. How's that? Now there is a proton transfer now. And the proton transfer occurs here. Minus charge there. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Does that look okay? Actually, you are right. It looks kind of weird. Protonation didn't take place at first, okay? It does look kind of weird, but you got to memorize that uh, or remember that this doesn't happen in this case. Okay. Now what else? <coughs> what needs to happen is one of these groups here needs to transfer to this, yes? Yeah, it's this R. But it could be this one too. Which R is it? It is the one that is more substituted, oh, so yes, you can yeah. say. Tertiary, or, or it could be a proton. Okay. So what we are going to say is this: this is what's going to happen. The idea is all the arrows are going to go that way. You see it or not? Yeah. All the arrows are going to go that way. So this one here, electrons are going to go and make a bond there. I have nowhere else to write it, so it looks like saying it's making a bond to this oxygen. Electrons from here are making a bond to that oxygen. It's electrons from here making a dual bond there. Yes? Mm -hmm. Arrows, all of them go that way. And this oxygen here has um, now how many bonds? Three. It has one, two, and three. three. Yeah. Yes? So that cannot be, one of the bonds has to break. It's not this one that's breaking, and it's not this one that is forming is breaking. The one that is breaking is this one. And how does it break? It breaks to go in and form a carbonyl there. Yes? This electron from here then goes out to make an alcohol from that. So, you see? Electrons, electrons, electrons. Everybody <coughs> is going in this direction. Yes or no? Yeah. So, what you get is R, the oxygen, with the R. I think I'd be good. Plus, plus what? Carbonyl here. Let's write it in the same area. Carbon with the R and the OH. How's that? Not so bad, yes? You had already done it in PLTL? Yes. I know. Yeah. I know which ones you have done. And I know when you did. Because <laughs> the devil knows it all, yes? Right, Karen? <coughs> Okay. Now, I don't want you guys to get used to mechanisms only, okay? Mechanisms are fun and all of this, but I'm afraid you guys are depending on these mechanisms. Do not look at your notes. Can I raise this gouge? 
No, can I raise this here? Yes. He's fast. Remember, sometimes I'm going to give you products, you have to tell me the products only. Okay? Sometimes you have to tell me the reactants. What am I going to get from here? Hydrozole. It has a name, and the name of that is? Hydrozole. Does it look like this? Yep. Yeah. Yes. You replace the dough bond to the oxygen to a dough bond to? The nitrogen. That happens from which ones? Hydrozone. Okay. Which one? What other? Oxide. 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 I mean. I mean. I mean. 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 And? Nada. Enamine. Yes. No. Doesn't. Oh, doesn't happen to enamine. No. Why not? It's only getting one bond next to the carbon. That's why it doesn't happen to the enamine. That's not why. Because it doesn't have two hydrogens, because an enamine comes, has from, two R's, yeah. comes from a secondary amine. amine yeah. That means a nitrogen with two groups two. that are not hydrogens, mm -hmm. right? They're carbons. Like that one. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is called oxide, yes? Hydrogen. Oh, hydrogen. <laughs> and if I do this, what am I going to get? No idea, right? Are you going to add all No reaction, yes. No reaction, right? Of course there's a reaction. What do you mean, no reaction? MCPBAs. Bayer Villager, yes. We had a ketone before. We introduced this oxygen here. So we have a five member ring. Now the oxygen is going to be part of the ring. And it's going to be how many member ring? Six member ring. One. Now the oxygen will be one of those. Okay? This reaction, you better understand it, is the Bayer Villager oxidation. This one here? Carbon. Yeah. This is an enemy? Yep. Like this? No. No, no. no. 
You gotta have a double bond to the carbon and the ring. What's wrong with this structure? Why not? Because that end will be positive now, and you don't want that. Okay. Yeah, this would be positive here. It's not gonna form, okay? I mean, it might form in transition somewhere. Neutral, right. and it will have a, a double, double bond, bond to the, the, yeah. One of the carbons on the side. Yes? Mm-hmm. This is enamine. Enamine. Yes. Gonna get pronated. So, that let's say I made a mistake. I put H plus here and H plus here. Yeah. 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 So this is an H plus. What is going to get pronated first? The oxygen. The oxygen is not going to get pronated first. No, the the yeah. um the NET. Oh, yeah, that. The amine is gonna get pronated yeah. first. Okay. Let's say the amine gets pronated first. first yeah. And then it's gonna be. And then that oxygen gets pulled in. Because amines are a little bit more basic than oxygen, yes? That's it. So, anyway, it's still going to act like the acid. So, what's going to happen next is that is going to attack that. Under acidic conditions, that is always going to happen. <coughs> These are acidic conditions where there are. By the way, you know, you know that this is an equilibrium, yes? Yeah. This is equilibrium. They're all equilibrium, so even though it, it doesn't look, well, not this one, it doesn't look that way. They're equilibrium reactions. Yes. So, it's pronation first. Why did it get pronated? Because it's under acidic conditions. That's right. And now that that's pronated, now it's this, a yeah, this may happen. You know, let's say. One in one million molecules, it doesn't matter. This is the one that reacts. Yes? Mm -hmm. Because can this amine here do nucleophilic attack? No. It can't. Okay? So it doesn't matter if it's another amine that is free or who this gave it to. It maybe gave it to another amine. Which one are we doing? Oh, we're doing this ET stuff. Now what's going to happen is there is, now there is nucleophilic attack, okay? And this goes that way. There's nucleophilic attack because this is under acidic conditions. Once you do the nucleophilic attack, it is not good to have a negatively charged species when you are under, under acidic conditions. So if you're doing a mechanism and it's under presence of H plus, yes? Mm -hmm. And you develop this somewhere. It's not good for wrestling structure, okay? It's not good. This must have been pronated before it did this, okay? And then it is stable enough not to do this, but to do the electron transfer to the top. So that's that. Once again, these are equilibrium reactions, yes? Mm -hmm. Equilibrium. What, what do we have now? We have oxygen. Yeah. CH3, then CH3, and the nitrogen. Mm -hmm. Yes, nitrogen, yes? Yes. With the hydrogen and? ET, yeah. And a plus on the nitrogen. Formal charge on the nitrogen is? 
Positive. Plus. No negative charge. Okay. What happens next? Yes. Proton, proton transfer. transfer. This proton here goes somewhere. Yes? Mm -hmm. Where does it go? To the any to an amine, right? That's yeah. No, to to amine, because you already decoded yeah. that amine, so it's another amine in there that's yeah. There, yeah. there is a problem with this. Eventually, this proton is going to end where? It's going to end here, yes? Yeah. That's what eventually is going what to happen. happen. This proton is going to end there because I need to lose this oxygen, yes? Uh -huh. And the only way to lose that oxygen is as a living group, group as, as water. water. Yeah. Now, whether this, now when I went to school, some people like to say proton transfer. And they write, they write an arrow and they say protons transfer from here to here. Okay. Or we can do the proton transfer more than likely what is going to take this hydrogen here is another amine. Yeah. Okay? So the amine is a secondary amine. Here's ET, here's ET. This one is going to take that. The electrons are going to go to the nitrogen. And what you are going to have is this mechanism gets lengthy like this, yes? Mm -hmm. Because of that little step. Now I have this amine that took the proton with a plus, with yeah, and with a positive. And this is back to where? Acidic. This is back, back to, to yeah, this yeah. species right here. Uh -huh. So what does this do? It takes the H. It picks up the, the hydrogen. H. How do you remember it picks up the hydrogen? Because I remember that that's what has to happen. How do you remember? Because you need water as a leaving group. Yeah. Yeah. You need this thing here to leave. Uh -huh. We're going to make it leave by making this water. So that is going to abstract that. The electron pairs are going to go to that nitrogen. And what we are going to have next is hydrogen, hydrogen. Hydrogen. ET and ET. Yes or no? Any yep. formal charges? Plus. Plus on the oxygen. On the nitrogen, right? On the oxygen. No, no, no. Oxygen. Plus yeah. on the oxygen. Okay. What next? Not a, the, it the can nitrogen. leave. Is it going to make a double bond? No, it can it leave first. Leave? Yeah, it can leave first. That yeah. leave first? Yeah. So they do no, the open at the same time. They're going to abstract oxygen and um, hydrogen from one of the cavities and the uh, water leaves. Yeah. Once this is like this, oh, yeah, to make that in which bomb. you have a water molecule here, uh -huh. and you have that lone pair there. When the, the hydrogen transfer happened before or happened after, it doesn't make a difference, okay? You are here now, where this proton transfer happened first, and then it took this one out. There's no difference. Now this electron pair here is going to make a double, double bond, bond there, yeah. which is what we need, yes? Uh -huh. We need that double bond there because we need to kick this water out, yes? And the water is going to do what? Leave. It's going to leave. Yeah. And once it leaves, it's going to form this. Nitrogen. That has a plus. With a CH3 and the CH3. Uh -huh. And what else? A positive ET. The ET and the ET, yes? There is a positive charge of this nitrogen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like this, right? There is, no. Why the no. Yeah. there is a positive charge on this. If this were evening, that would be the end of this, yes? Yes. Yes or no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Evening. You guys want to call it I mean? Evening, yes? Right, call it whatever you want. And this is not an enamine, this is an enamine. What's going to happen next? That cannot stay positively charged, yes? No. So what is it that's going to happen? 